Welcome back, everyone. Criminal Archer here. Time for some more stasis bone totem. Still in a, down in the creepy rabbit hole somewhere, but let's, um, there was a place that we skipped over back here that I would like to go through here. You are in Omega Lab, a black band restricted area. That's probably not very friendly. Clean room sterilization system active. Biological enzyme dispersing system. Decontaminate? Liquid nitrogen decontamination in progress. No foreign contaminants found. Okay. Insert biological sample for decontamination database. I assume that's probably going to be that. But we don't have that, so. Oh. Liquid nitrogen decontamination in progress. No foreign contaminants found. Ah! King, damn it all! Oh, God! They... They... They look almost... Ugh. Melted? Gross. Partially digested. There we go. Material and organic sampler. Okay. Let's try this now. Adding sample genetics to database. Warning. Liquid nitrogen overload. Mm, that seems bad. Clear the room. And the door. The floor will be slick, Mac. Be careful with your footing. Oh, is that what we, we did it for? Rude valve, okay. Oh, to, to clear the doorway, I got it. Okay, I see. Kane's rain. Are those bodies? It's a creature made of bodies? I do not like this. This place. It's just a descent into madness. You are beginning to understand. Pillar of floral cartilage enthroned atop a pedestal stands draped in a crowd of mist and malodorous dirt and fecal matter rolls off from it as a gangrenous bile seeps from the deep form. Microscope. I have anything to put under the microscope at the moment. Gross stuff. More gross stuff. Give us, Give us the divine sustenance we need to survive. We We will survive. Hmm. We won't Sounds like this is probably important. We will People, do you want the truth about the transcendence ship? The church says the device will let you live on the Nexus. If it's not true, don't be fooled by their lies. Protect yourself and your body from Cain's deceit. Yellow leaf, always yellow leaf forever. Warning. Highly toxic atmosphere. 
sector detected. Proceed with caution. What is it? Looks like spores coming off of this thing. Highly volatile, I'm afraid. You should stay clear. Or find a way to purge the air. I'd purge this whole fucking place if I could. Language, Mark. Mm, I wonder if this will be death. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I always gotta watch them. All right, so don't go that way. Sealed door. Take a look. So this and this were the ones that I've seen circled now. What do I think of this? This is not gonna yell at me anymore. More bodies here. In bags. Stacked this time. For disposal. Kane security forces. We don't know that. <sighs> yes, we do. Why oh, so nice about Kane? Kane seems like not a great group of people. If support system failed, I, oh, oh god, this thing again. What on earth is this? I have this? Does this do anything? Yes is the answer. Ugh. Ugh. You gotta be kidding me. More of that plant-like growth. This is horrid. Plants should not grow like this. The containment is quite volatile, yes. But what is it? Something native to this undersea environment? Precisely. Completely indigenous. They were using embalming fluid. Maybe trying to stop the spread of it. Careful, that stuff burns hot. Sample. I just torched this whole thing. <laughs> I wonder if I could combine these two to make some sort of like rudimentary flamethrower. Yeah, this and this. Embalming fluid should work for fuel in the Apparently flamethrower the and thing. the slider. Good work. They'll burn out quickly though, so move fast. Alright, may I flame through this? No. Maybe that other spot that we were in? Still just do not know what this whole thing is about. I suppose we could try and reproduce this. Two, two. Because this is like the square that we see here. Take a quick picture of that so I can do it on the other end. Alright, well, Mr. Bear. Oh, already in the correct room. Look at that. Alright, so this. One, two, there you go, atmosphere subsystem. Alert, atmosphere flush complete. Atmosphere reducing administration losses. 
Nice to have a little robot bear around who doesn't need to breathe. Okay, new room to explore. Take a look. It's a lady and a baby. A. A. B. C. B. D. No. I mean, you think, oh, no, here it is. A. Okay. Okay, there we go. Magnetic resonance coil. Burnt bodies. Empty breast pump. That is uh, dark. Melted rapid expanding foam canister. Alright, got a PDA to read. Salaya Priestess 9. Here we go again. After the initial shock, it's wild, right of laughter, tears, cravings. I'm a lousy parent. Why does Cain keep blessing me with children? Thought occurred to me as pa as Cain Day celebrations came close. Patient, blah, blah, blah. Fog, <clears throat> fog of memories is like amniotic fluid. He will be reborn and transformed by new knowledge, not unlike our glorious father Cain. As I pondered this, a minor quake shook the mule. No one was hurt. Could this mean that the next crucial step towards the true ascension is beyond the next true ascension is beyond the nexus i don't want to presume too much but the area isn't prone to tectonic activity and no one could no one could explain what caused the quake i had a juca shake an hour ago and now i'm literally crying from the pain i've never suffered from acid reflux before this pregnancy and now i'm wondering what the other surprises are in store if this is a gift then why does it feel like my body is rebelling Exalted Father on High, I am receiving received some interesting information from one of the staff, Dr. Eliza Simpson, who appears to approach me to discuss the patient afflicted with an unknown ailment. For brevity, I have included a report written by Dr. Heirfist, Heirfist, who was brought on to study the patient. In summary, it posits that the patient has somehow inherited the memories. Somehow inherited the memories. Dr. Simpson claims to have confirmed these pers reports personally. There is even a shred of truth in all this. Developing the means to transpose memories would have tremendous implications for the church. It could pave a path to extending the lives of our venerable members and representatives and revolutionize how we teach and raise those within the Cain family. I recommend that this research be prioritized, but we'll proceed as you deem fit. Today at lunch, a vet asked if I was planning a baby moon. I pretended to be above such indulgences, but really I would love some time away. Prepared by Dr. Hafist and Claire Daniels. Closer inspection of microbial infection growing in the patient's brain revealed a wedge-shaped object implanted between C1 and C2. The thing is crudely manufactured, but the initial infection has spread from the piercing from its piercing tip. I've liaised with Bar Baron, and we are at loggerheads over how to proceed with this heretical matter. Our debates are made more challenging by my uncle's obvious glee at my condition. He always seems happier than I am about my fruitfulness, worthy of a worthy of a priestess of Cain, and he uses praise to avoid responding to my arguments. What am I to him, really? Am I to what am I to Cain? Compounding my heter heterodox nightmare, the archaeological department reported that the cover stone that had been placed 
over the recovered human remains was carved at least 2,000 years before their death. The timeline of human achievements canonized by the church does not permit such an aberration. Were it not for the potential significance of PS 138-39, it would have shut down this entire option long ago. Liza is now a participant in the dream along with uh, the patient. She is suffering. She's been screaming for seven days straight. I'm not sure if the screams are ec ecstasy or pain, but I can't help envying the intensity of her experience. I can feel the iron hold my incarcerated incarcerator hold of my incarcerator tighten as I struggle to free myself from this gestating grip. I wish to leave the mother's shrine on the next shore leave, but first I must repent for these thoughts. Corbin, I've received multiple reports of staff suffering from hallucinations. We're not prepared for an outbreak. I remember that the high security contaminate and quarantine procedures being acted immediately, at least until we are better understanding of the microbe. We're instructed to bypass Baron and have the team organized by Choka directly. Despite the quarantine, an aerosolized form of PS-139 has spread throughout the facility. Is this the work of Yellow Leaf? I've locked down this mule quadrant as best I can. Dr. Moon managed to get the air filtration working. Then she said her oculars were glitching, and she needed a special tool for her office. I haven't seen her since. It's hard to imagine this, is a, this as a divine gift when the quarters are filled with screams. I've started seeing things, slivers of others' memories, flashes of violence... I've seen what the infection is do, done, doing to my colleagues, and I dread succumbing to it. Security is attempting to control the situation, but failing. I alerted corporate today, and they assured me to send help. I can only pray the father and mother that they get here soon. By the mother, the security team are killing everyone. The order must have come from Baron. Damn you, Corbin. By the grace of Cain, I've managed to hide, but I hear gunshots echoing through the halls. Glory to the mother, protected, and guide us to look at the stars. And she... Ex exhortation to the Newman who will guide us to paradise. Right. Security terminal. Oh, I forgot about this thing. It did not stay long. Perhaps it needs more motivation. Can I try it? <laughs> I'm gonna guess that I can't um, flamethrower this thing, but no. It's more of motivation. Don't know what that means. There we go. When in doubt, burn it down. <laughs> I hope you find peace, if not the Nexus. It's gone? Burned it. It's dead. Thank God. Spores are gone, too. Alright, let's go look over here now. This is beyond horrible. I'm afraid there are worse sights to come. That's probably the door to Omega Base. Gotta get it open somehow. All right, images. Okay. <laughs> it's a face grabber. Face hugger. 
That's a uh, thing from Aliens. That's a Graboid from, <laughs> from Tremors. I don't know what this thing is. I assume it's a reference as well. People. Thingies. Thingy, okay. Well, that wasn't very helpful. Locked from gantry pod. Day 20 of quarantine, the situation here just got a lot worse. I've locked myself in the clean room. The organic mass has now expanded to fill the entire lab. I, it ate Forbes. That poor bastard made the food run, but didn't get past the front bulkhead. He was absorbed and digested. I couldn't watch. All of us were having headaches and seeing things. I suggest we burn it. But Gelman said that he'll tell... Like hell, we are building his friends, burning his friends, and there's a chance Kane can reverse the process. I should stay safe right behind the observation glass. Okay. Mm, this number, I think we saw that number up on the... Make a door locked from gantry pad. Okay. When I did that one, like... Improving, like, uh, doing resolution, and I saw, like, a dude's name with a number next to it. I should have written that number down. I learned that about this game. Just <laughs> see something, just write it down. I'll take a picture. It was when he was on this thing somewhere. Corbin, 1821.11. Hmm, that seems bad, whatever that is. How many buttons is this? Apparently you can press them all. That's uh... I don't know what to do with that then, if I can press them all. So 18... 21... We have to find a code that we can punch in that's just like a generic, like a unique number code? Hmm. Yeah, let's go... Let's go back over to this lady and see if we can combine anything together. The valves melted oh. off these canisters, but with the new one, the foam should release. Foam up or launch vertically. All right, maybe this thing. Oh, yeah, there we go. Drop a galleon on it. <laughs> Obvious response. Okay. Oh, wow. I felt that from in here. Are you okay? What did you do? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. I broke off the bow of the ship. 
It fell on top of that thing. Inspired. <sighs> if it worked. <sighs> All right. Let's see if we can get past it now. It's. Uh, I killed it. It's dead. You don't sound thrilled. It was huge. It was... unique. It was disgusting. <sighs> but it's still gone. Warning. Energy reserves below 5%. You will be too if you don't hurry. Does she actually know where she's going? I just feel like she's just wandering around. <laughs> Warning. Electric intensification detected. <sighs> Super. Scrubber swarm. Scrapped rover. Uh, looking at a drone here. Twin prop. Kitted for sample collection, looks like. Anything useful? Probably. Or else it wouldn't be blue. Something here. Portion. Unfertilized scrubber is detected. Huh. Unfertilized scrubber eggs. Anything else? No? The drill swarm is probably waiting for a male to fertilize them. It's hazy on the camera. What is that? <sighs> Scrubbers. Like the one that melted the crane circuitry, remember? And you said one by itself could fry your whole suit. Yeah. Are these scrubbers swarming? Yeah. Around the docking ring. Then you have a problem. Those are females. They are swarming because they have no males to copulate with. Working scrubber broods are always kept female. They are easier to manage. They don't look very easy to manage to me. I wouldn't last two seconds in there. Is there a way around? No. That path is the only one that leads to Alpha Base. Now, yeah, let's see if our unconscious friend is um, the right... Insane. You wouldn't make it ten feet in that. No. But I can see the docking ring for Alpha. If I can get there. Three percent in the reserves remaining. This is just dumb luck if this works. No, that didn't work. <laughs> I wonder if I can combine these two things. So do this. Do this. No? Try this one more time. Be very careful. But don't click more than once. Because if I click more than once, we die. <laughs> Give me this egg. I smash the egg. No. I just got an idea. Not for this, but for something else. Alright, can I use maybe this? This says something about perhaps the stuff could be used, but apparently not the way I wanted it to.
I'm convinced that that's what we're trying to do, is get that thing to go in there. What if it's... is there an unfertilized... does it want to eat an unfertilized scrubber egg? Yes. Where's the interaction point? Right there. Alright, a little lost at the moment. I think I'm going to stop here for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you had a good time. I am, as always, the Crumulant Nurture, and I will see you guys later. Thanks so much.